All right, well, that's insane. But anyways, today is shoot day. We have a lot of performance stuff here. Obviously, a lot of hats. You can see the colorways. Some new performance tanks. Got nice colors. We got the teal, the white, obviously the black, navy. Then we got like a little sage green. And then we have the shorts to match as well. We're gonna be more lifestyle, so we're gonna do a little trail, a little bit of workout, a little bit of shadow box, a little bit of skipping. So super hyped. Um, I got the homie doing it, and then hopefully his brother pulls up because I want to get him in it. So that should be fun. Obviously, I'm gonna do some behind the scene videos of the shoot, and yeah. So hopefully all goes well. It is a little windy and it's also a little hot, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm liking how the shadows look, how the sun is almost about to set. So that's gonna be good. I feel like it's gonna make the shoot look super clean. I'm actually really hyped. There's a lot of looks, so hopefully we can get through all of it before the sun goes down and hopefully all goes well. It might be a little hectic, but we're getting the job done. <laughs> Nothing else to say, <laughs> Ravi. That's a wrap. Twelve thirteen. Let's go. You know what, y'all? Y'all better cop because it's gonna go quick. Look, stretch four ways. <laughs> all right, what's his name? The stretchy guy from Fantastic Four. All right, all right we're done. We're done. Now, we're done. What are you talking? We're done, bro. Anyway, shoot went well. Appreciate you guys. Oh my god, this looks like a fucking horror movie. Feet. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Yo. Currently gonna be um, doing more content. Obviously, this is um, the day after the drop. Um, shout out one, one shout out to everybody who copped. Um, really happy, really appreciative. As always, I know you guys are gonna enjoy the pieces. But today, um, we're gonna be doing more content, more on the enzyme tank and obviously the shorts. So there's more like versatility in the content, not just like running. It's gonna be more obviously. Uh, the, about the homie Drew, which he's an actual, like, so right now he's an amateur boxer, but he should be going pro soon, he was telling me, to show people, like, you just don't have to use these shorts for running, you can use it literally for whatever you want, so he was like, yo, I'm gonna go train anyway, got his homie to film, so I'm just gonna be doing some BTS, and then edit that up, post it to the Instagram, um, so before obviously doing this, I was like, you know what, like, let me, like, let me train with y'all, honestly, really good training endurance and stamina so it's obviously like warming up shadow boxing 12 rounds on the bag and then i think they do a little bit more of shadow boxing and then a cool down you know i was like you know what let me let me get involved a little bit with that so yo it's no joke um it's definitely good to stay versatile in your training and not just like you know running and lifting you know uh, i'm gonna go back home and then probably edit up um the homies stuff all the videos he took all the photos he took so i can post it and then just put out more content showing more of the pieces in different environments and you know just continuing to make content just to put it out there you know just so people can see like the lifestyle of all this stuff so super excited to do that and uh yeah so that's the day so let's get to it yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Cook a nigga up like full touch. Push up with my bounce, cookie dough type shit. She gripping all of my bounce, I got a move type shit. Thomas they cover my flaws, I ain't had to bring a new type shit. Hell around Jay with a brush, hella like a new type shit. All of my jeans are sick, I think I'm over type shit. Put the whole down with the gang, that shit, that shit, my manager type shit. Shot that she was the man I would forever have a boss bitch Okay, so back from the shoot 
Uh, it was a lot of fun. Bro, by now you've seen the photos, the video. That was like three hours worth of training, so shout out to Drew. That was not even him like acting. Like that's literally what he does five days a week. I just wanted to run through quickly like some of the stuff that's obviously on the website. Um, the two tanks are actually sold out, so shout out to y'all. Everything should be shipping out by Tuesday, Wednesday, if not Thursday at the latest, so thank you. I did wanna run through the enzyme tank right here. Um, obviously, the one online, the logo is green, but it's the same thing. Um, the main difference with this tank and the other ones, and why this one's 40 and the other one's a 32, the other one was a blank made in LA. This one's fully cut and sewn, um, and I call it the enzyme one because it does have an enzyme finish to it, so it, it does make it a little bit more softer. This one's boxier, meaning like obviously from pit to pit, it's wider and then from the length, it's a little bit more short. Like I wear it to run or to train, but obviously, you know, you can wear whatever you want because it's still like a t-shirt, it's not dry fit. But you can wear it out to the beach, to a festival, whatever you want to do it for. So I usually wear this either when I'm chilling at home or when obviously I train or do whatever like that. Obviously these were a bit more expensive to make because they're fully cut and sewn. So that's why they're 40. And then getting to the shorts, which I've been like just super hyped about and I've been wearing literally almost every time I run or train or whatever. I've gone through many different running shorts. There's Nike on. I kind of realized like, okay, uh, like I, I like these shorts because of that. I like those shorts because of this. I finally was like, I need to make the perfect short in my opinion. And this is like it, I'm not gonna lie. So first off, we're gonna start off with the material. The material is a micro jersey knit. So it's like just super stretchy, super soft. It's not like rough or anything. And it's just like very, very lightweight. So obviously when I'm running, uh, I tend to sweat a lot. So you want something that's super breathable. You want to be comfortable in the shorts. You want them to be loose and lightweight. And the fit of them, the last pair of shorts, I think I just made them essentially for running. They're like shorter, they're a little bit more tighter. And I kind of noticed that a lot of people like to wear shorts that are a bit more loose. The thigh's a little bit bigger, so it's not all tight around the thigh area, obviously. The rise is a bit bigger, but then the length right here is still four and a half, so it's still kind of short, but the fact that I made the rise bigger, it makes the shorts a little bit longer. I did that intentionally just because I know a lot of people don't like to wear short shorts when they're, when they're doing anything. It's a little bit of both worlds, which um, a lot of the homies that don't like to wear like super tight shorts when they're running or training, they really, really like these. So that makes me very, very happy. Just a simple 1213 logo there, you know, nothing too crazy. That's like pretty much the only branding. I just wanted to keep it, you know, nice and simple, which I think obviously, you know, gets the job done. Finally, when I was marathon training back in February, March, I always had to carry things, whether it was like gels, the water, my phone, my headphones. My shorts never could hold everything, or if they did, they'd be like stuffed in on one pocket or whatever. Or like I would have to leave something behind or bring my vest. So obviously we got the two front pockets. Then we have the back zip pocket, side pockets right here, which can hold headphones, whatever you need. So like when I go to the gym, so I'll put my phone here, my keys here, my headphones here. And then if I need anything on the front, I'll put that on the front. And then even then I was like, you know what? I need some more storage. So I'm just gonna show you like a quick sneak peek, which is not like a crazy update, but it's still something that like, I was like, all right, you know, from wearing these, like, still updating it. Like, okay, you know what? I think we need to add this and that, that. These are a new colorway that's gonna be dropping very soon. But this one, as you can see, still has all the pockets on the front and all this. But on the new version, I did add in, add in this little pocket right here. Put your keys in here or your cards in here or your even, I think your headphones will even fit in here. They might stretch out a little bit. That way the weight can be evenly distributed throughout the shorts. So it's not all on the back pretty much and like weighing you down. So you see like just these little details that I'm like finding even when I'm wearing it. I wanna make sure you guys have everything in one short. So yeah, I'm very happy and proud of these shorts and just the way they came out. And I think I've never found any pair of shorts like these, this material, the fabric, the obviously the storage system, the way they fit. So I'm just glad that I was able to make them for my brand obviously. And I'm glad that they came out the way they came out. So I am gonna be doing more colorways in the near future. Then I was like, you know what? We gotta do the classic nylon. So a four-way nylon is coming, same construction, same design, obviously just a nylon colorway, so I am sampling that. 
very very soon and then alongside that will be the new tanks that will be coming on with that the photo shoot is done so you will be seeing that in the near future same material four-way stretch super clean boxy fit same fit as the other tanks that are on the website right now so as you can see like a lot of people think they're just like regular shorts but there's so much design detail in them and i'm just very happy that they came out like that i went through so many i went through actually like three different samples of them um one was too short the pockets were too small and then the other one was too tight and then the pocket didn't really fit and then i added pockets and then like so it wasn't just like boom we're done it took like literally three tries so really stepping up the athletics line one more thing as well is obviously the running hat so i mainly only wear a hat like at the gym or when i'm running if i don't have a cut my hair tends to like stand up everything you know obviously i want to make a performance hat that is still like you know you can wear it but it's like still low key you know it doesn't have a lot of branding on it and if it does is you know 12 13 and the nice little logo nothing on the front nothing on the back nice clean simple nylon has the curve on it so i've been wearing this a lot at the gym as well you know it's already tested i wear it out to run i wear it inside the gym super comfortable you can still wear it out and about it doesn't look like a running hat you know so another thing that would that i was just like you know i gotta make sure all this stuff that i'm making whether it's through the athletic stuff or just in general is like versatile and you can wear it no matter what and no matter what you're doing it's not just like meant for like one thing so that's my design process and then obviously if you guys have been seeing i've been wearing this one just a nice corduroy trucker hat this one will be dropping soon along with a few other things so we move on to the next the taz t that a lot of people have been waiting for a lot of people literally dm me like yo when are you dropping the t has the t dropped yet so yeah that one will be coming i uh, hope you guys enjoy the pieces more stuff to come the denim will be on the way as well um the closer it gets to finally dropping i will do a full obviously full review full on body video all that stuff so stay tuned for that very happy with these and i know you guys are gonna like them as well yeah all right i think we're done like comment subscribe peace yeah yeah Put up, I don't hang with rats, that's some new type shit